Hey viewers and welcome back! Today's video might be for you, or for someone close to you like a parent or a grandparent. Today we're going to talk about the physical health signs that senior citizens shouldn't be ignoring. This might include shortness of breath, depression, or sensory impairments. In this video, we're going to take a look at some big ones that could be a red flag. Number 1. Sudden Indigestion it could be the spicy meal you just had, but if you're over the age of 65, don't brush off this symptom too quickly. If it's presenting itself in the form of heartburn and you have high cholesterol, this uncomfortable feeling could be the start of something more serious. If you start to feel any shortness of breath, pain on the left side of your body that travels down the left arm, it could be a sign of a cardiac symptom. If you start sweating profusely along with these previous signs mentioned, that's another warning. Most of the time, indigestion is just that, but make sure you're listening to your body, especially if you're older. Number 2. Arthritis This is one of the most common issues seniors are likely to face. It's estimated that almost 50% of adults over the age of 65 experience some sort of arthritic pain, which then leads to a poor quality of life. The main problem with arthritis is the pain. Managing pain is never fun and on top of it, it's likely to stop a person from being active. Keeping active is one of the most important things you can do as you age. You can get a personalized workout that will not only free you from the pain, but could help you manage it better in the long run. Number 3. Falls It may seem like nothing at first, but falling can really cause harm to an older adult. Every 19 minutes a senior dies from a fall and every 11 seconds a senior citizen is taken to the emergency room to treat a fall. We know these numbers sound alarming, but we only want to bring it to your attention because it's such a common issue for the elderly. Make sure you make your home safe by getting rid of any hazards that could cause you to trip like area rugs, slippery floors like the bathroom, and stairs. When we age, we become more susceptible to losing our balance. Our bones might shrink and our muscles could lose their strength and flexibility. All of these things combined are what make falling such a hazard. There is a way to minimize the damage a fall might do to your body, and that's good old exercise. Just like we mentioned in our last point, it's important to stay active. So talk with your doctor and make a plan that works for you. The next point is something that affects us at any age. Number 4. Stress Stress is something that affects us all, and it's important to find ways to manage it. Otherwise, it can take a toll on your mental and physical health. As we age, stress affects us differently. In terms of our physical, our body's natural way of handling stress decline. When we're stressed out, our body naturally copes with a flood of cortisol to the brain by breathing deeply and controlling the heart rate. When we age, heart fitness and lung capacity decline, which prevents the body's natural stress response. Not to mention, if you're dealing with something like arthritis or chronic pain, then it's even harder to bounce back after a stressful situation. One of the big ways we combat stress is getting a good night's sleep. Restorative sleep helps get rid of those stress hormones that may have accumulated during the day. If you're having trouble sleeping, it's going to affect your stress level too. If you find that you're getting stressed out more easily or find it hard to cope, you can try to incorporate daily activities to manage this stress like meditation, yoga, and breathing exercises. Sometimes you might need more help than that, which is why you should talk to your doctor and see if there are any medications that can help you. If you're interested in learning about how stress affects you, check out our video called 8 Important Signs That Your Body Is Very Stressed. Or you can watch the video called Reduce Stress and Anxiety By Training Your Brain Not To Worry. Now, back to our video on seniors should not ignore these symptoms. We mentioned medications in this point, so that brings us to our next sign. Number 5. Substance Abuse This one might be a bit confusing. We're not exactly talking about street drugs or alcohol dependence. Instead, we're talking about prescriptions. As we age, our minds age too. All kinds of things can affect our memory including stress and if you're taking more than one medication, you're at risk of losing track. The number of older adults with substance abuse problems is expected to rise around 5 million in the year 2020. That number is staggering, and it's so high because most don't associate substance abuse with medications they've been prescribed or cannot afford the proper medication, so they might be turning to take another patient's medication. 
This can turn into a problem when a senior misses their checkup or is prescribed multiple prescriptions at once. The problem with medication is that long-term abuse can harm your mental health. It also increases the risk of illness, disability, and impairment, causes a higher mortality rate, compromises your quality of life, and can create a higher risk of suicide. Since we're on the topic of mental health, let's go to the next symptom on the list. Number 6. Depression Unfortunately, this is a problem that plagues a lot of elderly people. Almost 20% of Americans over the age of 65 have experienced some form of depression. While we tend to focus on the physical problems that come with age, we need to pay attention to the mental ones that arise too. Symptoms of depression can come in all shapes and sizes. Some common ones are sadness, anxiety, excessive sleep and fatigue, loss of sleep, loss of appetite, and more. Depression not only diminishes a person's quality of life, but it can also manifest in physical ways as well. When someone becomes depressed, it can lower their immunity response and the body's ability to fight infection. One of the ways you can help overcome depression as a senior is to make sure that you keep exercise a top priority. Almost 60% of adults don't meet their recommended daily amount of exercise, which means that they don't socialize as much. Another factor that can lead to loneliness and depression. Enrolling in an exercise class like swimming and taking a walk with friends every day can help boost your mood and allow you to meet your exercise requirements daily. Exercise isn't the only important thing. Our next point is another symptom you should be on the lookout for. Number 7. Malnutrition Diet and exercise are a match made in heaven. They go together like cookies and cream, but malnutrition is a big issue when talking about the elderly. Not having the correct diet can lead to other issues like weakened immune system and muscles. Malnutrition can be triggered in many ways, whether it's caused by our last point, depression, simply forgetting to eat, dietary restrictions, or limited income is something that often slips under the radar. If you or someone you love is an older adult, you can improve your diet and avoid the risk of malnutrition simply by incorporating more whole, unprocessed foods into your diet. Eating fruits and vegetables will decrease the amount of saturated fat and salt in your diet, which can help you get the vitamins and nutrients that are vital to healthy living. There are also food services that you can look into that can really help the elderly with nutritional needs. Our next point is something that's vital to healthy eating, or just eating in general. Number 8. Oral Health Having a great smile isn't the only reason to keep your oral health in check. Unfortunately, maintaining a healthy mouth and gums only gets harder the older we get, so that's why it's important to keep an eye on it and not let it get out of control. Have you ever had a toothache? They're no fun. Luckily, you prevent any damage by scheduling regular checkups with your dentist and making it a top priority. About 25% of elderly don't have their natural teeth. That doesn't come as a huge shock considering our mouths become drier and more susceptible to cavities, gum disease, and mouth cancer as we age. That's why it's important to see the dentist or to incorporate a rigorous dental care routine at home daily. These are just some of the symptoms that affect those above the age of 65. Remember to always talk to a doctor if you're worried about your mental or physical well-being. Are you above the age of 65? Do you have any of these symptoms? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left, or write video and enjoy.